hello my dear this is Joel and today I'm going to share with you SFD how to draw shear force diagram SFD and VMD when we have point load and a couple this is a couple its unit is in kilo Newton meter and this is a point load I hope you understand you have if you have watch and in case of overhanging beam so this is important now to solve this type of problem we have to name the two support here we have two support a and b all right now i will extend this support that's why it will be easier for me to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram where we are having load we'll just extend line and just we'll just again draw a line which is in horizontal direction and we are going to draw here shear force diagram okay now before going to draw shear force diagram we have to find out reaction force at a and at b which we known as by the notion of r so how we can calculate that so here r a plus R B is equal to how much 40 plus 40 that means 80 kilo Newton as simple as that now we are thinking this is a fix and then we are going to take movement from here to here in this beam only and they are also taking movement okay now what we have to do we have to we can write on this on the, the on, on this uh, concept we can write the equation as i am writing here r a into 2 3 and 3 3 3 6 into 2 8 so r a into 8 is equal to 40 into 3 40 is a point load 40 into 3 now we have we have to write here this is a couple okay now this is acting like this okay so how if this is acting like this and this is acting this there are two ways to act a couple on any beam clockwise and anti-clockwise so if it is moving or it, its direction is in clockwise direction then that is the couple is known as clockwise couple if the direction is in anti-clockwise direction then that couple is known as what anti-clockwise direction couple so this is working or uh, this is acting as which direction you can understand easily this is acting as anti-clockwise okay so in this case we will have to add here 120 now this is fixed and if you are if we are taking this side as positive then we have to consider this side as negative so here we have to write minus 40 into 2 after summing all these 120 plus 120 minus 80 so 120 120 how much 240 okay 240 okay minus 80 so remaining would be 0 6 and 1 now ra is equal to 160 by 8 is equal to how much 20 kilo newton I hope you understand this is simple there is no rocket science you need to implement to solve this thing now we need to find out rb rv is equal to how much 80 kilo newton minus ra that means 20 kilo newton is equal to 60 kilo newton now i have some material to draw shear force diagram okay so i am going to draw a shear force diagram right now only so what we have r at at this point we have reaction force 20 so we'll just draw a diagram from we don't have any load over here so this is 20 kilo newton always right unit now we don't have any force from here to here so we'll just extend this line but we do have acting force 40 kilo newton on this on this uh, point on this point so we'll have what 20 minus 40 that means minus 20 so here we have minus 20 this is we are taking as positive and here we are going to take as negative that means the below the reference line we are taking as positive and above the reference line we are taking as negative got it 
now again we don't have any load over to here to here so we'll just extend line but we are having we are acting we have uh, I mean, there is a load acting on this beam at point b so reaction force at point b is how much 60 kilonewton so 20 plus 60 that means there would be 40 kilo newton again we don't have any load from here to here so we'll just extend this line i hope you understand the way i have drawn shear force diagram so you don't need to even use calculator to solve this problem now i'm going to share with you okay you can see easily okay i'm just going to extend this line little bit that's why it will be comfortable for me to draw bending moment diagram okay bending moment diagram b m d i hope you know this okay now we'll start drawing from point here so we'll just calculate area of this triangle this is triangle no my dear this is a rectangle a kidding okay this is a rectangle and uh, we are going to find out area of this rectangle so to find out area of this rectangle we have to what we have to uh, multiply length into width so what is the length of this rectangle 2 into 20 that means 40 again we know that if in the shear force diagram we are having we are having this as a straight line okay this is a, I mean, a constant line you can say so we will just draw as a linear line here so this is how much 40 kilo newton okay now again we are having we are having a uh, rectangle but before moving from here to here we have to calculate we have to consider this couple this couple is one of the most important thing here this is acting as anti-clockwise direction that's why we have to take this uh, as a, a movement a couple in negative direction so what will have 40 minus 120 that means this is a minus side and this is positive side so this is 80 kilonewton meter this is kilonewton meter okay now because this is the movement okay now how much we are having here again 20 this is 20 into 3 60 so 60 minus 80 is 20 so 20 kilonewton meter again we are having remaining so here we are having again 20 into 3 60 but in negative in negative this is a negative so 20 minus 60 that means minus 20 minus 60 is minus 80 kilonewton meter in reverse direction this is minus this is minus okay now this is uh, how much 80 i think right 20 plus 60 80 kilonewton meter now what we have we are having a force acting here that is 40 okay we are having a shear force that is 40 40 into 2 how much 80 but in, this is in positive so we have to subtract from here and this is the, this line will be just here zero at point zero okay so this is the i will just uh, i will I'm, I'm just going to hatch this because that's why you will understand this uh, bending movement diagram quite easily okay now yeah we have to hatch this one also yes so i hope you understand the concept behind solving shear force and bending movement diagram in case of overhanging beam remember with couple as well as point load i hope you understand thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye